Laptop cooling pads are kind of confusing. Some people swear they don't work while others promise you that they absolutely do work. Now, personally, I've used about five different laptop cooling pads and I've had pretty mixed results. And if you're a Windows laptop user, then I'm sure you've probably wondered if you should bother getting a laptop cooling pad or if it's not going to be worth your money. So just like I said, I've used about five different laptop cooling pads and for the most part, they were not effective. So I actually made a couple of videos earlier stating why you should not buy laptop cooling pads and I even recommended getting a laptop stand instead. However, in my last video about this topic, I found what I thought was the ultimate laptop cooling pad, but I was wrong. Apparently, there is one that's even better than that surprising. This is the Lano laptop cooling pad and it literally blew me away, probably because it has a giant 14 centimeter fan that goes all the way up to 2800 RPM. But that's by the way, we'll definitely get back to the specs later, but for now let me show you just how effective this cooling pad actually is with some benchmarks and other tests that I conducted. I started off with the Firmark benchmark test and after a couple of minutes my laptop reached a peak temperature of around 90 degrees. Then I turned on the cooling pad and set the speed to 2800 RPM and the temperature dropped down to about 73 degrees within a few seconds and then it slowly continued to trickle down to around 63 degrees, showing a drop in GPU temperature by around 24 degrees Celsius. And if you're still watching the video at this point, then you are super cool. Leave the frozen emoji in the comment section below to let me know you made it this far. And if you're enjoying the video, then please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I then turned off the cooling pad and proceeded to play GTA 5 for about 20 minutes, getting an average CPU temperature of around 90 degrees and a GPU temperature of about 80 degrees Celsius. Then I turned on the cooling pad and set it at 2800 RPM once again, and within a couple of minutes, the CPU temperature dropped to 65 degrees Celsius, and the GPU temperature dropped to 54 degrees Celsius, which is a 25 degree drop in CPU temperature and a 26 degree drop in GPU temperature. So I think the results kind of speak for themselves, right? Anyway, let me start off with what you get in the box if you choose to purchase this laptop cooler. When I opened up the box, Box, the first thing I got was the instruction manual. After that came the cooling pad itself. Next up, I saw the power adapter for the cooling pad and finally a USB type C to USB type A cable. And I'm sure you might be wondering, if there's a USB cable, then what's the need for a power brick? Why can't I just power the laptop cooling pad with my laptop? Well, the Lano laptop cooling pad is so powerful, it actually does require an external power source. So for you to be able to get the full extent of its capabilities and enjoy that maximum 2800 RPM speed, you're going to need to connect this to an external power source. But it's also to your advantage because the laptop cooling pad doesn't have to draw any power out of your laptop and you know it can just focus on doing its actual job which is cooling it. Taking a look at the cooling pad itself, overall, I was pretty impressed with the build quality. Of course, it's made of plastic, but it is a high quality plastic and the cooling pad feels quite weighty. The fan is also made from metal and it is stated to be able to work for over 50,000 hours. It has a foam lip surrounding it, similar to the Klim Everest. The foam lip creates a good insulation barrier around the bottom of the laptop, preventing the air from leaking out and ensuring that all the air is being blown directly into the intake vents. However, this foam lip doesn't really have any magnets that attach it to the cooling pad, so you're going to have to make sure you keep that in mind. On both sides, there is an RGB LED strip that leads to the back and it culminates in this really nice design pattern. So when you turn on the cooling pad, you can enjoy the vast array of different colors. There is also a non-RGB version, which is a little bit more affordable. The RGB strip has four different modes with more than 10 different light combinations. So you can easily match your desk setup if you already have a lot of RGB lights. Still on the front, touching and holding the power button for two seconds turns on the cooling pad. And on the right hand side, you can see a scroll wheel, which you can use to adjust the speed of the cooling pad's fan. Still on the front, there are some plastic handles you can raise to properly secure your laptop to the cooling pad. And on the right hand side, you have a collection of ports. There are three USB-A ports, which are the out ports, and then one USB-C port, which is the in port. So if you plug in a USB-C cable to the cooling pad and connect it to your laptop, you can now connect any of your peripherals directly to the cooling pad 
and it will work. So you can connect your mouse or your keyboard and you can use them on your laptop directly from the cooling pad rather than taking up valuable ports on your laptop. At the bottom of the cooling pad, there are some adjustable legs in case you want to change the angle that the cooling pad sits on your table. And you can also get a better look at the dust proof design. What this basically means is you can easily pop off this plastic covering and then take out the air filter and clean it or replace it whenever it gets very dusty or dirty. And this entire system prevents dust and other tiny particles from being blown into your laptop. So you're sure that whenever you're using the cooling pad, only clean air is being used to cool down your laptop. And one reason why this dust filter is so important is the fact that, as we all know, dust can easily accumulate in the fans of your laptop. And if that is left unchecked, then those fans will gradually fail over time and your laptop will be left without any sort of cooling. If you continue to use the laptop while the fans have failed, it will eventually begin to damage the motherboard and other components and your laptop is going to rest in peace or pieces. One of the figures I've mentioned a lot up until this point is 2800 RPM, meaning it is incredibly powerful and it can cool down any Windows laptop within seconds. However, as Uncle Ben once said, with great power comes great responsibility. But it's not really responsibility, it's more like a drawback. So using this cooling pad at the maximum fan speed is going to generate a lot of noise. Just here's what I'm talking about. As you could see from that brief demonstration, the noise levels significantly increase as the fan speeds increase as well. Now, the best way to combat this is to keep the cooling pad within the 600 to 1500 RPM range where the noise levels are a little bit acceptable. But if you're going to be playing a game and you're using your noise cancelling headphones or something like that, then feel free to blast it on the highest power settings, which is 2800 RPM. Personally, when I'm doing work like video editing or just casually using my laptop, I like to leave the cooling pad at around 400 or 500 RPM because it is pretty much silent at that speed, but at the same time, it keeps blowing a gentle breeze into the intake fans so I can be sure that there is really good air circulation going on while I'm using it. The Lano laptop cooler comes in at about $115. All in all, what I'd say is if you're in the market for a new cooling pad and you're not really constricted by a tiny budget, then I would definitely recommend the Lano laptop cooler. Aside from the fact that it has the most powerful fan I've ever seen on a laptop cooling pad, it also has a really solid build quality. It has touch sensitive buttons. The RGB strip is super cool. It has an inbuilt filter at the bottom to prevent dust from getting into your laptop and if you don't mind the loud fan noise at the higher speed settings then you can be confident that this cooling pad will significantly drop the temperature of your laptop and you will never have to worry about it overheating ever again however what i would say is when it comes to buying such an important accessory for your laptop then it would be much better to buy it nice than buy it twice so basically, if you can afford it, then definitely go for it because it is worth every single penny. And if you're really interested in getting the Lano laptop cooler, then you can check out the link below for where you can purchase it for the best price. Now disclaimer, this is an affiliate link, so I'm going to make a tiny bit of a commission from each sale at no cost to you. So if you really like to help the channel out, then please consider purchasing it from the link down there. But if you think it's not for you, then let me know in the comment section below. And if you would like to see a full comparison between the Lano laptop cooler and the Klim Everest, then also let me know in the comment section below. You can check out any of my other videos in this playlist. Yeah, I think I'll put it here and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.